In this demonstration, I'll show you what are the different ways you can get the data which are being gathered at the watch LifeLeaf device and get it transferred to the LifeLeaf app so that you can look at that data in a multiple different ways, including graphs and charts. So I'll start with the app. And this app I've already logged in, so I don't have to log in again. So when I log in, it comes to the dashboard and it shows all the different uh, numbers. And these numbers are based on the last time I do a synchronization between the app and the phone. At the top also, it shows that the phone icon is in gray, which, is mean, which means it is not connected. Also, the charge is not there. This is the charge of the watch because it is not connected to the watch. And also, it does not show what is the last sync time. So when I go to the connect, it will actually go into the QR code uh, scanning mode uh, because I think I said that every time I do a login, I have to do a QR code scanning and connect to the device every time. So it is a good idea that if you are not changing the person using the watch, then you can do a login and remain logged in without logging out. In that case, you don't have to go to th through the QR code. So I'll go to the connection and then it goes to the QR code scanning mode and let me start it. And as I have talked about in uh, another demo that there is this Bluetooth icon which I touch and that brings me the QR code. and it could read the QR code so I can connect it. So connecting and the device is now connected. So once the device is connected, now look at the icon, the watch icon on the top left, that is blue, which means that it is now connected. Now give it a few seconds. Actually, it takes about a minute to do the synchronization. It will bring the charge amount from the watch to the app as well as it will bring all the data which is cached in the watch and that will bring it to the app. Depending on the amount of data, it can take uh, from a few seconds to several minutes actually. Uh, and once it brings it, then all these numbers will also change to the latest number. So let's give it a few more seconds. Okay, the data is now transferred. It now shows the charge is 83%. Also the last sync time it shows 510, which is the same time as right now. Now, if we actually click on any of these uh, icon here, for example, heart rate, and that shows the last time actually it was measured at 57. So it does at every 10 minutes, or about 10 minutes so the previous one was at 456 and before that it was 445 etc so almost like 10 minutes away uh, and the value the last value is 76 which is the same as the 76 shown at the top left so if we go back it shows I can look at another one for example blood glucose the 7507 and it shows the value of 177 right now, as you can see here, these are based on the scheduled measurements as it is done by the watch and kept in the watch in the cache. And when I connected it, it did the synchronization and brought all of those values from the watch to the app. Now, if I want to do and see the measurement right now, rather than waiting for another three, four minutes to do it, then I can actually do it by measure. So using the measure now, I can do it uh, on demand measurements. So I click on measure now and it shows the progress with the percentage. It takes about a minute to measure all these different biometrics and then do the transfer to the phone.
okay the measurement is now successful and it shows the all these different parameters and if I go back and go to the heart rate so the previous one was at 507 that was based on the regular scheduled measurement which we have transferred when we connected to the uh, watch and by measure now we got a new value of 78 at 511 which as you can see within just four minutes of the previous one though our schedule measurement is every 10 minutes so just we will wait for another few minutes actually the next schedule measurement will be around 517 so we will wait another six seven minutes and we'll see that how to get that data from the watch to this app using the sync functionality so let's give it a wait okay now we have got enough time passed from our last point to see that if there are a couple of additional measures have been done by the watch based on the scheduled 10 minutes interval which have not been synced yet so if we look at it, the last sync time which was 510 and now it is 532 so let's go to the heart rate to see the list of all the time so the last time we did a uh, measure now was 511 and the last time it was scheduled was 507 so we should get at least couple of schedule measured from 507 5017 and 527 something like that so to see that let's go back and we'll do first of all a sync And the sync is done sync successful and look at the sync time now it is showing 533 now let's go back to the history once again and as you can see that we have got 519 and 530 are two more measures have been retrieved from the watch to the app so we have shown here three different ways of getting the data from the watch to the app first is whenever the watch and the app are connected either by connect new or by reconnect it will bring the data whatever data unsync data was there on the watch it will be it will be brought to the app number two on demand we can do by measure now and number three is by sync and by sync any unsync data which may be in the watch will be brought to the app